and unsend it. So it'll be a more gradual change into night and a more gradual change into mornings. What's up guys, the tech spot here, and oh boy, we have received so many iOS 14 leaks like just now, courtesy of 9to5Mac and Mac Rumors. So in this video, I'll be discussing all those new features that will be coming to iOS 14. These features are basically confirmed by 9to5Mac as they have scoured through iOS 14 code, and it does reveal all this information. So it includes a new home screen view option, new wallpapers, mouse support, some incredible accessibility features, mark messages as unread, compatible devices, a possible release date, and so much more. So with that, I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time. Let's jump right in. And all right, now before I start, no, I am not on iOS 14, and this is not an Android phone, okay? I am just Joe Broken, and I installed some tweaks to make it look a little bit different, and I also have this tweak installed called Prism, and I hope the iOS 14 control center looks like this too. But anyways, first on iOS 14, we will see a new home screen option. It is going to be called list view So 9 to 5 Mac is saying iOS 14 is going to include a new home screen list view option with serious suggestions and more This new list view option will make it easier for you to see all your installed apps on one page And you can also sort and filter apps by for say unread messages or notifications and also recently installed apps or apps that you use the most. So you would be able to sort your apps and filter them and have only apps show up that fit that criteria, which I personally think would be very, very useful. It would also use Siri suggestions to be able to use your location and the time of day to suggest an application in the list view. So for example, if you go to the gym and you open up the list view, it'll show you the music app because it knows that you are at the gym at this time and it will recommend you the music app because it knows that you want to open that up up for the gym. So this list view option is going to be very cool. Up next, augmented reality or AR. This one is very exciting. 9to5Mac found that based on iOS 14's code, Apple is testing Apple stores and Starbucks with augmented reality. So for example, you'll be able to walk up into an Apple store or Starbucks and kind of hover your phone over with your camera probably and see the different prices of different products just by hovering your phone over it. So I can see that this iPad is like 500 bucks or something like that and his iPhone over there is 700 so you would be able to see product features pricing and you'll be able to compare them with another product all using augmented reality just by hovering your phone now this third one is also pretty cool as well all the features are kind of amazing so wallpaper app integration okay so there's gonna be more features with the wallpapers in your settings application so first off wallpapers will have their own categories for example stills or earth and moon wallpapers or plant-based wallpapers wallpapers or flowers, you know, all of them will have different categories inside your wallpapers in your settings app. So that is really, really cool. So you can see all these specific wallpapers in one place. If you want to have a flower or a moon wallpaper, there'll be a separate category for that inside the wallpapers app. And it's not just Apple that will be adding to these wallpapers. Third parties will also be able to add wallpapers in the settings app, which is amazing because there are some amazing wallpapers out there and Apple doesn't really sometimes have the best best ones. So with iOS 14, we would get more new wallpapers, organization, and new categories, which will make it easier to find the wallpaper that you want. Now, there will also be a shot on iPhone challenge inside the Photos app. So you'll be able to open the Photos app and submit your photos and see the results inside the app. Now, the iOS 14 code also reveals information about Apple's upcoming product, the AirTags, which will allow you to basically find and not lose any of your personal items will be like the tile where you hook it onto a device but anyways this code reveals that apple will be using the same batteries that are used in the tile pro and basically these batteries are not rechargeable so how does that work well the tile pro has the same battery and in that tile pro the battery lasts for one year without having to be charged so the air tags will use the same battery and it'll probably last around a year or more too and so yeah we don't know how this will work will apple offer a battery battery replacement program for the AirTags. So every time that one year goes 
out and your air tags no longer have any more battery would you go to the apple store and replace the battery i don't know how that will work but that's what the ios 14 code reveals about the air tags now ios 14 will also include support for alipay alipay is basically a third party payment platform in china now moving on ios 14 is going to add a load of incredible accessibility features in ios 14. so 9 to 5 mac say that code revealed that the apple airpods will have audio accommodations to improve audio tuning for people with mild to moderate hearing loss so some people do have hearing loss and they like to use the airpods but when they have the airpods actually in their ear they cannot use their hearing aid so the apple airpods will also serve as a hearing aid for people with hearing loss and it's a lot cooler to be wearing apple airpods around than just to be wearing a hearing aid so i think this will go pretty big for people with hearing loss now ios 14 will also be able to detect sounds alarms and sirens door knocks doorbells and even crying babies and translate this into haptic alerts so that your like watch like vibrate something to let you know if you do have hearing loss and cannot hear or let's say you're sleeping you will feel that haptic feedback so that you will be aware of these alerts so loads of accessibility features that are definitely useful and i can see of these being of use now, if you're on an iPad, iOS 14 will also have system-wide rich support for mouses or mice. That's a correct way of saying it. So this will be designed for the new smart keyboard with trackpad. So it'll kind of be like the Microsoft Surface, I believe. So you could also choose between a mouse and a trackpad. And you will also have gesture support. So you can use gestures on the trackpad, which is really, really cool. It would not be a hidden functionality like it is currently is on the iPad. And right now you could use a mouse, but again, it's not really meant to be used with it. Now with iOS 14, they will really push this and make it really, really functional. So on the iPad with mouse support, you'll be able to have gesture controls. You'll be able to right click. You'll be able to hide the cursor when you're not using it. And once you start using your mouse again, the cursor will reappear. The cursor will actually change to one of those hands that are pointing whenever you hover over a clickable link. And again, the trackpad would have multi-finger touch support. It will be very comparable to using a mouse on a Mac. So that is really, really cool. Now, 9to5Mac also revealed information about HomeKit. So face recognition, Apple TV audio, night shift for lights, and more. There will be big and improvements to HomeKit lighting, cameras, and Apple TV audio. For example, night shift for lights. So this is actually really awesome. So currently in HomeKit, we have the ability to go and adjust the lights when it's day or night, but it's not very gradual. It's just kind of like all of a sudden. So it's like, this is your morning mode and this is your night mode okay that's there's just two but with the ios 14 home kit you'll have the ability to automatically adjust light colors temperatures throughout the day so it'll be a more gradual change into night and a more gradual change into morning so that would be very nice with their lights they do say that cooler light temperatures are preferred during the daytime hours and warmer color temperatures are preferred during the nighttime so adjust the lights accordingly to that which is very nice so you'll always be in the right mood and lights color temperature also affects like your sleep cycle so at night you'll become automatically more tired in the morning you'll wake up which is what you want and some of these light bulbs already support this feature for example the life x bulbs also support this feature so when this feature is ruled out those light bulbs will already support it now also with home kit with things like security cameras it will include people identification so not only will your camera detect people in general and then notify you but it will detect specific people in your family so for example if your brother walks up it'll say that your brother has arrived at home so you want to get a notification saying that someone arrived at your house okay it'll be very specific to the person it'll be able to recognize faces and i'm surprised it doesn't already have that feature already now here's one for the home pod and apple tv you will now be able to permanently select the home pod as your default player when you turn on your apple tv for your audio so you won't have to manually select your home pod every time you turn on your apple tv 
you to be able to use your HomePod as your speaker. Now, Ben Geskin on Twitter also leaked the iOS 14 app switcher, which is more of a grid layout so you guys can see more apps on the screen at once. So we are going to be seeing this new app switcher in iOS 14. Now, this one might sound boring, but it is actually very useful. 95 Max says that the Apple Watch will have a blood oxygen detection feature. And again, this is found in the iOS 14 code. So blood oxygen levels between 95 and 100% are considered healthy and below 80% may be led to compromised heart rate and brain functionality. So you can see why this would be super important. Having a low blood oxygen level would increase risk of respiratory or cardiac arrest and you just wouldn't be able to think straight, okay? Your brain would be foggy. So with this new technology in the Apple Watch, it will be able to detect when your blood oxygen level is below the desired amount and you would get a notification so you could go ahead and address that issue. Now we don't know if this feature will come to only newer Apple Watches or if it will be a softer update rolled out to basically all newer Apple Watches. We will have to wait and find out. Alright, now iMessage. This part is interesting, okay? Now take this kind of with a grain of salt because it is not 100% confirmed but Apple might definitely release this. There's a lot of hints pointing towards this. Mac rumors is saying that Apple is testing these iMessage features. Now, the first one is at tags. So for example, if you are in a group text, you know how you get all those notifications, you're bombarded with notifications. Well, with this, you can only be notified every time someone at tags you. So they mention you, and that's when you will be notified in those group texts. So if you want that, you can just go ahead and hide all the other alerts and only be notified when your name is mentioned. So I think these at tags would be useful. So if you know someone is directly talking to you in the group chat, you will get a notification and then you can respond. Now, Apple is also testing this. So after you send a iMessage, you could also go ahead and unsend it or retract it. Let's say you accidentally sent the wrong message or sent the message to the wrong person. You would be able to unsend the message and just have it not appear and it would appear with fine print saying that this message was unsent, but the receiver would not be able to view the contents of the message. Now, you would also be able to mark messages as unread. So we don't know if this would be like with the mail app where you could just mark messages or emails as unread so you can just go and view them later, or if it would actually go and say that you did not read the message and read receipts. We'll have to wait and find out. Now, Steve Smith on Twitter also found code where Apple is developing a new overhauled iMessage app for the Mac. So this will have all the iMessage features that you would get on your iPhone and some more. So you guys could see all these like effects and stuff are working on iMessage as well. And this is on the Mac. And again, Apple is just testing all of these iMessage features. So they might or might not be released in iOS 14. Now, as for compatible devices, iOS 14 would be compatible with all iOS 13 supported devices, except Apple is expected to drop support for the iPhone SE. But 9to5Mac says that also do not be surprised if they do also drop support for the iPhone 6S and 6s plus so these devices that are over here are 100 going to get ios 14 for the iphone se and the iphone 6s we don't know apple may likely drop support now as for release date 9 to 5 max says that it's expected that a developer beta for ios 14 will be out in june at wwdc 2020 and then a few weeks after that is when we would see a public beta for iOS 14. That is if coronavirus does not affect any of these release dates. All right, but guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to drop me a like. That does help me out a lot. And also be sure to get subscribed for tons more videos on tech and so much more cool stuff. This is the TechSpot. Peace out.